It's interesting. Historically, like when you really look at it and you, if it could really be analyzed and told properly in the movie, it'd be a dope documentary if we really just like, if you really just talk about how the transformation of hip hop and the culture of the competitiveness, the killing. I mean, to talk about the Young Dolph thing for a second, like yeah. that shit is fucked up. Yeah. Like just a few years ago, I was talking to him like I was talking to you. What's popping? It's your boy, Young Dolph. What's up with what's up with the lean? Like, the lean don't scare you. What, what's up with that? Like, you ain't scared of having none of them seizures. Um, a year before the shit happened with my jump pop, my joint, my joint popped off. You know, like I was sitting in a situation where I didn't have, I was in the grind trying to get, you know, my my name, make a name in the music business. And I ended up bumping into him. I was, um, and we did an interview with him. And um, he, and it looked like at the time he, he had the money. He had, he had the money. He wasn't the most talented artist, but he was consistent. He had the hustle. Yeah. He had the hustle. He had the money and um, he was he was situating himself to get lucky. And and all of that happened and he and he's blew up. Yeah. He blew up. And um, yeah, and I was just watching the video earlier today about how he started taking things for granted. He started taking his success for granted yeah. because his his homies was telling him, you got to stop rolling like this. You're not who you was six years ago. Like when I did that interview with him, when no one really knew you, you might've had the nice car, but no one really knew who you was. Now you're, you're a target and you got, you can't be going to get cookies by yourself or with just one homie with you. And he took it for granted and it got him. Um, only in hip hop, you know what I mean? No, only in fucking hip hop. I say no, no other community. When you, when you get successful, they, they champion you. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. they, uplift you in the community if you're doing if you made it out a successful one but us is like look you make it out you got to move out you know that same week you know what i'm saying and that's the that's just the way you got to move i think that and and that's that's really you know i mean we we all know that we all know the rules we all know how it go you know what i'm saying we all know how it goes so he he you know rest in peace man because i i think man nobody wants to Nobody wants to bury their child. Nobody wants to, you know, bury their their husband, their father, none of that. So, man, I'll definitely rest in peace to Dolph, man. But just like that, just like that, like just just like that, you know, you're a dead rapper a week later. Shit, crazy. Like that's why I even I even put it because as much like I said, I've been making music my whole life, but I but situations like that make me think like, man, what if I went triple platinum, but then I got killed in my hometown? Like, would it have been worth it? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. would it really been worth it? You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's yeah, a tough yeah. question. You know what I'm saying? For me to, to try to answer, then you yeah. can't trust nobody. Then it's like, is your girl going to set you up? You know what I'm saying? Is your cousin going to set you up? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, your best friend, really your best friend? Like, you you never really know. Like, you, you got to move a completely different way. Uh depending on where you come from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's fucked up. And um, just being an artist, like when I was sitting there, I never really, deep in my heart, I never really wanted to be an artist because it's just being a target, having that target. Real talk. Yeah, for real, just having that target on you. And I'm yeah. already, I'm already, <laughs> are you see me looking like who is no. that? <laughs> I'm the same way though. I, mean, too, I, I don't got time for this shit, man. <laughs> I, got, I got goals, man. No oh boy, Bro. like come on, man. I'm the son, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, like I, I really got goals I'm trying to accomplish, and um, yeah, it's just I never. You know, as dope as it is to kind of be an artist and be that guy. Yeah. I don't know if I ever wanted that target on my head like that. Yeah. Money is good, but I was I was always just comfortable kind of playing the side and being a part of the movement, uh, being a general within the movement or being a leader within the movement. But, you know, as long as I'm a leader in the movement, you know what I mean? I'm fine. I'm one of the generals, yeah. I'm one of the top people did I got my stripes and I'm you know and I got my unit that I've worked with 
I'm cool with that. I don't need to be the 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 the, the, um, the king because well, everyone's gonna want to kill you. Yeah. Everyone's gonna want to cut your throat. He's a Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Like it's a fact. This is a fact. So um, yeah, just being that you can't be at the cookie spot unless it's a royal entourage. And if you don't think of yourself like that, then that's when you get caught lacking. Yep, because one time, because we got this Uber Eats and DoorDash out now. This shit ain't no excuse for that shit. You want some fucking cookies? Uber Eats. Say I'm here for king pin shit. You know what I'm talking about? You the king. The king doesn't do that. The king has a royal entourage. They roll out the carpet. Nah, this is a scene when the king pulls up. Right? If it ain't that, you disrespecting your own legacy, your own throne. It's like, like a, a king moving like a pawn. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like how you go out, how you how you let him catch you like that? See? It's sad as shit. Real tough. But he should have known better than that. You're not even looking recognizing what you just did. Yeah. To the world. That five years, that time from the time to now, with the effect you had, you taking it for granted. <laughs> you taking your effect on the world for granted. You don't even realize how you you don't even realize how big your top pause. How you don't even realize how you know what I mean? How huge your movement is. That's it. And that goes back to what I was saying about the blocks. You so you just putting a block every day. You forgot it becomes. And I remember it was a tweet that he put about a month ago. Like he was like, "Damn, I still can't believe this is happening." I remember you know, that shit yeah. happened. Yeah. yeah, you can't believe it because you was just putting a brick every day, and it became routine where it was almost like you was putting bricks down unconsciously. It's like Jordan, you shooting threes with your eyes closed. You shooting free throws with your eyes closed. It becomes unconscious after a while when you work when you become great. You know what I'm saying? And nobody, no one's gonna remember when no one remembers when Jordan was bouncing and he was making them songs and all that making all that greatness. Nobody talks about that. Now you talk about the fucking championships. You know, I hope I hope what I'm saying makes sense. Nah, that's real. That's definitely real, man. He like you say, when it's it's kind of like when you in the eye of the storm, it looks super calm, you know what I'm saying? And you're not even realizing, you know what I'm saying, it's a big tornado hurricane going on because you're right in the center of it all yeah but it's really a whole mayhem going on around you and yeah I, I, I like I say like he like you said he really did it to himself he wasn't moving how a king should move yeah so he, once he occupied that space on the board you had to move accordingly but it was kind of like his ego thing because he was definitely a, we were aware and we not in his personal life like oh you ain't supposed to move like that he yeah. was definitely aware, but the ego, sometimes the ego, man, can cost you your life. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, yeah. it did.